Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I replace this door and repair this siding on Dad It Yourself. So out back we got a couple of projects here. Uh, this whole wall needs to be completely rebuilt, both on the inside and the outside, and we're going to replace this door with a solid door, no window in it. Uh, the frame, it's hard to tell, but the frame got damaged over here. So we're going to be pulling this whole door out and replacing it. And then, like I said, rebuilding this wall, residing, and then repainting all of this. So another shot of that door from the inside. And you can see we got a two by four holding it and the frame's all broken over there. Yeah, this whole wall needs to be replaced right there. Okay, I've been pretty busy. Uh, guess what I did. Oh, look at that. Demoed out that whole wall right there. Took out the door. Everything is right there now. But, cool part is, I was able to save the brick molding that I think is original to 1949. It just has that look about it. Um, so that's cool. We'll be able to put that back on the other door. Hey, another glorious morning at the Reno house. And this is what we got accomplished on Friday afternoon. Uh, pulled this wall, uh, put the OSB up. There's actually a new stud in there. That's This is all coming off again this morning. Though we had to board the door up just to secure this house for the weekend, but we're gonna have to pull all this siding up here and repair this whole corner. And then on the inside, we have to do some more work. So here on the inside, we're, into, we're gonna actually take down these cabinets we have to peel back this wall to the next stud. There's some damage in there. there we need some insulation and all kinds of stuff through there. Okay, so we pulled all this down so we can reframe for the door. Started pulling this corner off and looky here. Rotted is an understatement. <laughs> so we're gonna have to replace this whole corner right here and then into this siding as well. All right, having fun with that. This wasn't me. I wasn't here. Here we are outside. Look at that. We had to pull all that wood down. Even part of the top plate up here. Some of the soffit. This was all rotted back to about here. And then we're gonna have to put these two by fours back in and then go back inside and nail the drywall back to the two by four. So I'll be doing a little patching and painting inside the master bedroom, I guess. <laughs> so we got this all wrapped up. New insulation back here, siding all the way around. Got the door hung, it's looking good. It's a little dark in here, but hopefully you guys will be able to see. So tomorrow I'll insulate this wall up here and put all new drywall on this wall and down behind here and then we'll trim this door out and I'll paint it and we'll be done with this one. All right, late night tonight, seven o'clock. Uh, we got all the siding done, look at that. It came out really nice. All right, back at it tomorrow. So I put insulation in this wall, not because it needs it, but because I had it. We had some leftover when we did the exterior wall that's actually part of the interior of the house. We still have a little bit more up there as well. So why not? You know, it's not gonna hurt, so why not put it in there? All right, let's put some drywall on that thing. All 
All right, look at this. Got all the drywall up. Had to repair a little bit down here, over here, around here. But that is pretty good. And I'm going to be taping this now. But I'm using mesh tape this time, not paper tape. I got some pretty good ragged gaps up here and around over here. And this is going to work out way better. So let's get to taping. So I got the drywall mudded. And for those of you who saw my closet video, you know what I did in those corners. A lot of people say, hey, why are you spending so much time drywalling a garage? Well, because drywall in a garage is actually the first line of defense in case there's a fire. So, got to seal that up. It looks good. I'll let that dry over the weekend. I'll come back, sand it, maybe feather it out. But again, this is the garage, so it doesn't have to look super fancy. But it's definitely going to get some paint. Probably that gray right there. Paint it over there and then paint this big green spot where the uh, cabinet used to be. So I'm here at the Renault house, and as you can see, looks like paint, it's primer. I've got some on here too. So getting these walls primed so I can get painting them this week, and I still have to figure this trim out up here, but I'll get that straightened out. So I got all the new siding primed up. One coat, it's probably gonna be enough. I'm using, uh, what am I using? Bear Marquee, so. I'll probably spray that on and do at least two coats. Makes it easy when you're spraying it. But it looks pretty good. And if you're curious, using Kills too as my primer. So the drywall on the inside, all of this dried. Looks really good. I've already sanded it. But over here, you can see it's still pretty wet through here. This is the garage and it's not uh, heated. So it's going to take another day or so. I think for that to, to dry up so no rush but I think I'm gonna put some primer over here so got that all primed up and again we'll just wait till that dries and put some primer on that probably Monday afternoon we'll see bye all right got the paint all done over here that looks pretty good just have to uh, rip some of this baseboard out and replace it I got this piece right here and unfortunately I didn't bring my saw today so that's a tomorrow project so I've been cranking along today and I got the baseboards in and I got those painted and look at that, it looks really good. Got the door trimmed out, got a new lock set and that's been keyed to match the front door as well. So I am going to probably hook up the washer now and then I have to punch a hole in that wall for the dryer vent but I haven't painted the outside yet so once I get the outside painted I'll punch that hole and get that set up. Well, good morning everybody. So I'm out here on the back and I've already kind of hit it a little bit right there and I've got it prepped but I got my Flexio right there and we're gonna paint this wall today and that's just about gonna wrap this project up. I got a little bit of trim work and some trim paint but that won't take more than that long. Let's get this done. All right, so less than an hour later, and that is pretty much done. I went ahead and back brushed it just so it would uh, look even and clean up any of the runs or anything. And if I have to come back and spot paint anything, it won't look weird because there'll be brushes, strokes in some places and spray marks in others. So came out really good. And really, that only took about an hour. It took longer to do all the prep work than it did to actually paint. So I finished up the last of the exterior trim. The original stuff that was here got damaged in the demo, but not bad work I'd say for myself. I replicated a 1949 custom molding with a curtain rod and a piece of cove molding from Home Depot for less than 50 bucks. To have this piece custom made would have cost me probably two or three hundred dollars. All right, let's put some caulk and paint on this and see the difference. We'll take a look there. Two coats of paint, a little edging and trimming, and that looks fabulous. Put a little paint on the door trim. That's the original door trim for the house, 1949. We were able to get that to fit around that new door. And that looks good.
Well, that wraps up this door replacement and siding repair part of this home renovation project. It took about five days and I had to bring in some carpenters to give me a hand, but we got it done. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos here you may be interested in, and the subscribe button's right over there. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.